If you want to get to number one on Amazon, follow this guide. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm going to walk through how you can use a combination of price, the main image keyword, and all other SEO fields to get your position to rank number one on Amazon. All right, so let's dive in. So here is a list of keywords, and we're going to be looking at my Sage Sticks today. So this is the Sage Sticks product. Uh, right out of the gates, the first thing I'm going to recommend is adding a keyword to the main image. So the, the keyword we added here was Sage for Cleansing House. We chose this keyword based on it showing up in the Search Query Performance Report, which is a great report to figure out uh, which keywords to focus on. It will pre-sort everything for you. Uh, but you just need to get it into the main image. Now, you can add this on the packaging, and there's a variety of different ways you can do that. Uh, we like to add it on the packaging generally. Here are some additional examples on how you could do this. We call this our CTR main image hack. When you increase your CTR, you will increase your SEO rank. The reason for that is when you get higher clicks than your components, your opponents rather, your competition is going to rank lower than you. You're going to outrank your competition by getting more clicks. When you get more clicks, you also get more traffic, more traffic and more conversion. The irony here is a lot of people think you have to sacrifice conversion to improve your CTR and keyword ranks, and that's really not true. Uh, think about it. If you were seeing this uh, cookies baking sheet as an example, and you saw this in search, you're more likely to click on it because you can smell the difference between these two images. But then uh, if you land on this page, you're more likely to just simply purchase it. Your conversion rate also goes up just simply by having the cookies show up and showing this is what you use the product for. Right, you got, you got to understand that the consumer is overloaded. Their shopping is an afterthought sometimes, maybe even while they're driving. Uh, TikTok nation, if you will. So highly distracted consumers. So by showing them exactly what they're going to get when they buy the product or click on it even is a really smart play. So this is why tip number one is to add a keyword to the main, uh, main image. You can see another keyword here, Kids Constitutional Journal. There's obviously some other additional components we added to the, the main image to improve the CTR, which improves the ranking, which gets you to rank number one. Um, other examples, no sugar or water added. This wasn't a keyword play. This was more of a, um, a way to differentiate them from everybody else in the search. Uh, you know, microwave heating pad, this was already on the regular packaging, but just simply showing the packaging onto the main image, we got the keyword in there. Uh, super helpful to do that. The blessing of this is that you can triple your CTR on these isolated keywords. So if you're really hyper focused on one, two, three different keywords, or even a group or a cluster of keywords, and you add it to the main image, so dried sage for burning, we tripled our CTR by simply adding the keyword. Sage Smudge Kit tripled the CTR just by adding it to the main image with a keyword. Uh, and that's very, very valuable to do so. So that's the one of the first keys to success is add a keyword to the main image. All right, so the next thing we're going to talk about is pricing. And uh, right now we have this price at $8, which is on the lower side of what we normally do. We're currently turning 600 units a month on this listing. And if we look at the pricing history, you'll notice we play with it quite a bit. Um, I'll go to the all time. And one of the keys to the second component is to not have static pricing on Amazon, right? So uh, what's interesting is that a lot of times when a product first launches, it actually does some of its best sales in the first 60 or 90 days, a la the honeymoon period. So you can see we're in the top 15,000 BSR. We were at $8 uh, right there. Uh, and we got all the way down to the top 5,000 BSR right around Christmas Eve of 2021. So the product's been around three years. Pretty stable product, uh, but you know we tried to get some profits, so we raised the price up to ten dollars, and then it started to kind of slowly die a little bit. We lowered the price aggressively. BSR went back down, and I show you this to indicate that when you lower the price, even for a temporary period of time, and then you raise the price back up, the BSR recovered. Right, so you can see that clearly right here. This is a case in point. You can see this on multiple listings, by the way. This is very easy to replicate. Um, but in March, we were in the top 100,000 BSR, May 40,000, 90,000 right there. We lowered the price all the way down to $7, and the BSR dropped all the way down to 27,000. And then we raised the price back up, and guess what? The BSR stayed in that 27,000. In fact, it got even better. It went all the way down to 12, 11,000. Then we had some uh, price hike all the way up to $12 to see if that would make any difference. Then we went all the way back down to 8, and then we went back to 10. And you can see there's a correlation between price and BSR. 
So uh, I have a full guide on this particular one over at myamazonguy.com slash price. And in here, generally when you're launching a product, I recommend having your start price to be 50% below where you want to end up. And over eight weeks, raise your price slowly. 10% here, 10% there sort of angle. Uh, and this has been really, really effective. Now, this is not just a launching strategy. This is also a great way to recover or reactivate a listing as we just showed right here with the chart, uh, by going down in price, we recovered it. We weren't down in price for very long. I mean, we're talking less than 10 days right there, uh, and it's highly, highly effective. Um, I have multiple videos on pricing structure. Um, this Mr. and Mrs. Visc video, I go through and talk about how I lowered my price in half. I forgot about it. I didn't go back and check it, and then I sold 500 units and lost $5,000 in 30 days. Um, but it's super effective. And then the listing all of a sudden was great for the rest of the year. And I had to place a reorder. So highly recommend that. By the way, if you want to get 50% off a new main image, go over to myamazonguy.com slash IMG promo code CTR to get 50% off normally hundred bucks with that code, you get 50, $50 off and we'll build you a new main image. So you can see all of these different main image opportunities. Uh, to test from. You guys can always run an A-B test to see what does better, but I pretty much guarantee that your keyword that we put on the main image will triple in um, click-through rate, which is going to help you. So you've got click-through rate by going up on the main image keyword. You're going to lower the price to help you get more sales. The more sales you get, the more rankings you're going to get. Here's the proof in Cerebro. This listing is in the top one, two, and three slots for white sage for cleansing seeds, uh, white sage for cleansing house, house clearing sage, wicca sage, burning sage to cleanse negative energy, burning sage, etc. cetera. Uh, and you know, some of these keyword volumes are on the smaller side, some are in the 500s, and that's okay because it adds up, right? There's 1,700 keywords this listing indexes for, very close to our one to two golden ratio of one paid to two organic. Uh, and I love seeing listings that, that are close to that golden ratio because it means that there's a proper amount of PPC um, spend and a proper amount of SEO results or indexing. Uh, so it's a good way to check your listing to see uh, how close you are. All right, so, so those are the two first big ones. The third area to get your rank to number one is by combining all other SEO fields. So let's go through them. And the first is the title, right? So if you don't have an exact match in the title, that is a super easy thing to fix. Uh, so burning sage sticks for bundle for cleansing house negative energy, like very specific way of wording this based on what the consumer behavior is. Keep in mind that you can go up to Amazon and you can see autocompletes. So if I type in sage sticks, you can see a hundred different autocompletes, sage sticks for cleansing negative energy, sage sticks bulk, sage sticks holder kit, lavender smudging, etc. All of those keywords can show up there in the autocompletes, and we even have the search volumes that show us here. And this is populated by Helium 10, but you guys can see this in a variety of different tools. Uh, but the autocompletes are super helpful so you understand the search volume. You can even look at title density and competing products and a bunch of other information you can look at. So title, super important, critical. If you want to get to rank number one, it almost always has to be in the title. Next up is the bullet points. Um, by the way, keyword stuff the heck out of these. I think images are for people or humans and the text is entirely for robots. Here's your litmus test. When you bought your last item on Amazon, did you read the bullet points? Nine out of 10 times, probably not. 95 out of 100 times, probably not, right? And so that's why it's for the robots to index the listing and whatnot. You do not need to put the keyword into any of the secondary images that will not help you with SEO as a heads up. Next up is our brand story. So having um, alt text inside of A plus contents. I've just put on the image alt text viewer in a Chrome extension. It's free, super helpful. So you can see what your competitors have put into theirs. You can also right click any website, hit view page source, and you can actually scroll down and look at the code yourself. If you're really super curious, you can hunt it down. But I think a Chrome extension makes it a lot easier. Um, so in here, if you want to just simply copy and paste um, what your competitors are doing, you could. Um, and then the brand story, what I really like about it, it's horizontal real estate. You can cross-link all of your different products. Uh, and there's, you know, 96 different photos, products uh, between all the modules that you can link to. And every single image that you load, both to the brand story and the A-plus content, can have alt text. So it's super helpful to go through and build that all out. 
One really big call out is text that is inside of images like this does not help SEO in 2024. 2025, who knows what might happen. Uh, we might see AI and robots reading text images, but I don't know about you, but if you've ever tried to make text inside of an image with an AI like ChatGPT, Claude, or whatever, um, it sucks really bad. They're not good at image uh, text reading or writing at this point. So that means all of the text outside of the images is what's critical to help you rank number one on Amazon. So you need to have exact matches. Um, sometimes Spanish is important to go after. I even threw it in right there. Um, that did help me rank for that, uh, which was super cool. So I just went over to amazon.com, typed in the Spanish word and scrolled down. I'm in slot SEO slot number three right there with that listing. Um, and just simply by having an exact match inside of the, uh, the listings A plus content right here, that's how I did that, which is really cool. So highly recommend that. The product grid in A plus content has a lot of text you can put in here. Um, the title of your products is another great way to get a reiteration of a keyword. So sage, smudge, stick, that's five more instances that we're able to slam dunk those in. Dried sage sticks right there. There's another one, you know, includes Palo Santo and we put no because only one of ours does in the, in the sage smudge kit right there. Um, but that's another way to cross pollinate and say what my product does versus what it doesn't do. And that can be helpful. Um, the Albalone shell as well. I don't even know if I said that right. Um, but those are kind of the general ideas you can see of what we can do there. Finally, we're going to go to the back end of Amazon next. So we're going to click on edits inside of these, uh, the product. And by the way, if you ever see, uh, if you ever haven't set up these shipping alerts yet, I highly recommend it. Never go out of stock. Thou shalt never go out of stock. That is a fundamental rule of Amazon. Also, don't understock because now there's FBA fees that will hit you for understocking as well as overstocking. So you're getting hit on both sides. It's like you're getting cushioned in to follow the Amazon logistics and whatnot. It's kind of stinky. All right, so we're going to hit edit on this and we're going to go over to the product details section. Now, sometimes, depending on your category, they'll move some of these fields or slightly change their name. Make sure the item type keyword is filled in. If it's blank, that will prevent you from ranking. Super important. Make sure that's filled in. If it's not filled in, you can sometimes hit edit and do it there. Otherwise, you might have to file a brand registry ticket. I do have a video on that you may check out. Product description, if the A-plus content is present, this does not help you index, but we do fill it out just in case because you never know if Amazon might index it. It does actually show up in the code. I was able to prove that. Um, let me see if I could demonstrate that right now. It's been a while since I've tried to do this, but control F, uh, I'm trying to look for the product description, see if it shows up in the code. Uh, and there's like 20, 126 mentions of description. So meta name by age of sage, white smudge sticks, long stress release sticks. I don't know. I don't think that's the, uh, I don't think I have the word buy anywhere in my code, but I'm pretty sure it does show up somewhere. I wasn't able to prove it. Bullet points. Uh, we showed that on the front end. Here's the generic keyword section. This is sometimes called the search terms. Uh, this is a floating rule. Sometimes we'll see this change. Right now it's at 250 bytes. It used to be at 250 characters. They also switched it to 2,500 characters. So you may need to keep in touch and hit that subscribe button so you know which current SEO technique and how, how to optimize it because it's a moving target. But having your exact match keyword in the generic keyword section is important. Do not use commas. Um, we use four phases of SEO. This is fundamental to SEO phase one. You can watch my video on that here. Uh, and, and there's a bunch of information about what to do or what not to do. Misspellings are helpful. Spanish is super helpful. You'll see various Spanish words that I've put in here. Uh, my favorite way to set the, the keyword term is to use uh, Frankenstein inside of Helium 10. Um, we like to do uh, a master keyword list anytime we launch a product. Sometimes we'll go back and redo it if we think the product needs to be um, helped. But you can hit this export uh, data button right here and export it over to Frankenstein. And what that'll do is it'll quickly take all of your keywords. You can also um, you know, put 10 competing ASINs in at the same time. Simply come down and hit this process button and it will spit out a bunch of characters, 6,500 characters right there. And the nicest thing about this is that if you just took the first 250 characters here and did nothing else, that would be like 80% optimized. And it's pretty mind blowing how easy they've made it. Um, and you could go copy and paste that in. Now, to get that extra 20%, you're going to spend uh, an hour of time, most likely, going in and customizing it. You know, you may not want to have Chinese characters, for example, um, and, and other things, but 
Uh, and you can't have a trademark term in there from one of your competitors, so you don't get a trademark yank and you know, those challenges like that. But by and large, auto sorted by most important up at the top. Now, when you go through our other SEO phases, two, three, and four, we incrementally index by rotating these keywords and by chasing strike zone keywords in SEO phase three. And then we go for market share in SEO phase four. Each phase will rotate the SEO gains. Uh, we're the only agency and, and the first one to make any public SEO phases, but also uh, the fact that we have all of this public, you can check it out over at myamazonguy.com slash SEO. We have a full 90 minute video um, that goes through and talks about all of these SEO phases in depth. We also give SEO phase one for free. Um, so if you wanna go check that out, you can watch this video next and I go into super detail. I also have a certificate. If maybe you're a virtual assistant trying to get an SEO job uh, or you wanna get a raise at your current job, you can pass that certificate, hand that in and say, hey, I passed Mag's SEO certificate. This proves I know more about Amazon SEO than the next guy. Uh, but it's super helpful. You can go through and follow all these different phases and whatnot. All right, so here's your checklist to focus on for SEO. Title, we covered search term field, also known as generic keywords, bullets, A plus content, and crawlable text. That is text you can crawl, not just the alt text. Then there's the alt text. Then there's the brand story. Um, by the way, there's a meta description on the brand store. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this. So if I type in Age of Sage right now into Google, um, this is the meta description that I personally wrote. Uh, and to get to this section, you just go to the store editor and it's on the first tab of the store editor uh, inside of Seller Central. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that. So if we go over to uh, Seller Central, we go to store, manage stores. And in here, we can click edit on one of the stores. I'll go, go to my Holstead store right here. And then in the homepage meta description, you can set it right here and, and set whatever you want. The benefit to doing that is it shows up inside of Google right here. That's going to help the product rank. It's going to help your store rank. Notice how that my Amazon brand store ranks number one for my brand name on Google and then my website, then my YouTube channel. So super important to, to set and build out a brand store and then not forget to set that meta description. All right, so let's go back to the checklist here, wherever I left that. Um, questions and answers on the PDP, haven't covered that, so let's do that one now. So if we go to the very bottom of an Amazon listing, um, they have started to use AI to like summarize the Q&A, so this is getting a little less impactful, but stu super helpful. So like the reviews, you can see quality, smell, ease of use, ease of lighting, not as easy to light, so we're getting hit with the yellow on that. Uh, but if we go to the question and answer section, so I'm going to type in control F question, going to hit the questions button. That's going to take me to the live, the Q and a right here. Uh, and ironically, we're not actually seeing the list of questions. So we're gonna have to type something out. Um, how do I light this? And then we'll see all of the answers. Um, product info can come up sometimes. What do you say when, while saging, uh, other videos from other listings, Customer reviews will come up, um, but customers also ask. Let's click on one of these, see if we can get something to, to prune here. So is there anything in particular I should say while burning sage to remove someone from my home? <laughs> I'm not the target demographic for this product, as you can tell. Um, so, so the question right here, let's say you were selling a product and there was a disease claim or your medical claim you couldn't put onto the listing. Guess where you can get away with it? the Q&A section of a product review listing. You can get away with it in how you answer it, and you can get away with it if you asked a question or had somebody that you know ask the question on your listing right here. So this is another technique to get something to rank. Uh, you know, Brandon Young, other people do this all the time, um, especially on the trickier listings. Social posts, this is probably one of the least helpful things you can do, uh, but they're free. Uh, and they might have some ex some internal Amazon link juice that will help you rank number one on Amazon as well. And then finally, external links. This would include website pages, influencers, TikTok, whatever, um, pushing into Amazon. So this is a really good guide on how to get to rank number one. And I've put this in order of priority um, of what is going to impact things more than something else. You'll notice I put crawlable text over alt text, and that is intentional. Uh, that has a, has a bigger impact. So those are the three things you need to focus on. Number one, you need to have the keyword in the main image. That is the most important thing you can do to get the fastest rank to number one. Number two, you need to lower the price for 10 days. Don't ever have price, um, uh, uh, don't keep your price stale 
you need to update it every 90 days. Even if it's a temporary sale, temporary price hike, it's going to help your sales. And finally, third, all of those other SEO factors will all help you to get ranked number one on Amazon. If you like this video, leave me a comment that says um, SEO rank one on Amazon in the comment section. We'll see if we can rank this video on the top of YouTube, uh, which, by the way, I'm already in slot number one for Amazon SEO, which is great. Thanks for your support on helping us rank that other video last year. But we'll see if we can rank this one as well. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy, and this was my video on how to rank number one on Amazon. Check out these other SEO phase videos next.